the second approach uh, which is uh, only applicable to very simple systems uh, that is the analytical approach. Uh, we have already talked about it very briefly in uh, one of examples. Let's uh, do it again over here. Uh, if you basically phase portrait is nothing but a relation between x1 and x2, plot of a relation between x1 and x2. So what you do is uh, what you do is that uh, if you have this nonlinear system, nonlinear differential equations, you solve these nonlinear differential equations for x1 and x2. And to get a relation between x1 and x2, you eliminate this time uh, to get a relation between x1 and x2. Once you have a relation between x1 and x2, then you can have a graph between the two quantities. Let's do it with one example. We have this uh, system described by uh, this uh, differential equation, second order differential equation. Uh, first step is to get a relation between, uh, to find the solution x1 and x2. For that purpose, here we have linear differential equation. We can write the characteristic equation uh, and uh, for, uh, corresponding to characteristic equation, uh, we have done it in one of our previous lectures. Uh, we have found x of t and x dot of t. Once we have uh, x of t and x dot of t, uh, then uh, how to eliminate this time? Take the square of first equation, square of the second equation and then uh, add the two to get a relation between the two. So x square plus x dot square is x naught square which is uh, in the phase plane it is uh, equation of a circle uh, with radius equal to x naught initial condition x naught. So this is first uh, uh, analytical approach. Solve this uh, differential equation uh, for x1 and x2 and somehow eliminate this t to get a relation between x1 and x2. Once you have this relation, you can plot that particular equation. Uh, however, you will observe that this approach becomes much more difficult if you have uh, uh, some nonlinear differential equation. Here it was a simple linear differential equation. So uh, we were uh, relatively more convenient to, to solve it. But uh, if you have uh, nonlinear differential equation uh, then it will become difficult. The second analytical approach uh, is this one. Uh, from this equation uh, and this equation we observe that differentials dx2 by dx1 what is that? dx2 by dx1 is equal to f2 divided by f1. That is obvious from these equations. If you write it in the form of differentials, divide the second equation by the first equation, you get this relation. And after writing uh, in this form, uh, you can solve this equation uh, for x1 and x2 to get a relation between x1 and x2. Let's elaborate it with the help of one example. Again, the same simple example. Here, uh, we have the same equation. And uh, let's uh, first write it in uh, this particular form. For that purpose, we can define new state variables x1 equal to x. What is meaning of this symbol? By definition, By definition equal to. We have named uh, this x to be equal to x1. We have named it like this one. Likewise, x dot is named to be equal to x2. Then uh, this uh, state equation, this differential equation in state space form is written over here. And uh, then uh, we write uh, this uh, thing. So that is equal to dx2 by dx1. That is equal to uh, f2 divided by f1. f2 is over here. f1 is over here. Is it clear? And then... <coughs> Uh, simply by rearranging uh, x1 multiplied by dx1 and x2 multiplied by dx2 written over here. And uh, now we can integrate both the sides of this equation. Uh, integration with respect to uh, d, uh, this x2 and this with respect to x1. So what do we get? 
what is integral of x2 with respect to this thing right so we have this equation x2 square by 2 uh, and uh, uh, we have taken this initial condition uh, x uh, dot of 0 is equal to 0 x dot of 0 is x2 of 0 so on the left hand side uh, after integration and substitution of this uh, limits we have this thing on the right hand side we have this equation and which is uh, the same as uh, this equation which is written over here right uh, this approach will be more uh, clear from this example so you have uh, this uh, nonlinear system which uh, is a simplified model for uh, satellite uh, control this uh, satellite control using on off thruster we want to orient uh, this uh, antenna of this satellite in some uh, upright position for that purpose there are two thrusters one thruster is over here and other is over here this applies positive thrust this applies negative thrust and we uh, we are using an on off controller that is if uh, this uh, is inclined towards uh, uh, towards right we shall uh, turn on this thruster this thruster should also be uh, pro, uh, downward this uh, so so that it can move uh, it in uh, counterclockwise direction and if uh, this moves uh, towards left we can turn on this thruster so this on off controller uh, is depicted in block diagram over here uh, this is uh, the same equation uh, theta uh, theta double dot is equal to u theta double dot is equal to u uh, we have modeled this antenna by a simple uh, inertial element, moment of inertia. Uh, so you are well familiar with uh, the equation that uh, torque is equal to uh, moment of inertia multiplied by angular acceleration. So that equation is written over here. This is the torque uh, due to these thrusters and the second derivative of uh, angular position which is angular acceleration. So modeling of this system uh, is very simple and uh, this uh, equation theta double dot equal to u is written over here. Uh, here is theta, theta dot and this is theta double dot which is equal to u. And we have simply used on off controller if uh, the diff if theta is positive uh, means uh, here we turn on uh, this thruster that is apply a thrust in negative direction and if it is uh, uh, inclined towards left we apply a thrust in positive direction so it is uh, on off controller uh, that is uh, this small u is equal to minus capital u when theta is positive and it is equal to plus u when theta is negative so this system is described by these two equations and we want to obtain phase portraits for this particular system using analytical approach uh, this equation by defining the state variables in this way is written into this form and we have now two cases uh, when theta greater than 0 and when theta is less than 0 corresponding to theta greater than 0 these uh, state equations become equal to this one and uh, then uh, writing uh, in uh, that particular form dx2 by dx1 we have uh, this thing f2 divided by F f1 as we discussed in previous slide and now rearranging the things uh, multiplying this dx1 to the right of this equation and this to the left and then integrating both the sides uh, we have uh, these equations what is the integral of this one x2 x2 square by 2 uh, and then uh, substitution of this uh, initial condition uh, this uh, these limits substitution of these limits and likewise integration of the right hand side uh, we have this equation 
which uh, can be written in this form by rearranging by bringing this u uh, to the left hand side and arranging the things where the c1 c1 is some constant obtained from this thing and from this thing is it clear we have simply integrated the equation what is uh, the plot of this equation have you seen such kind of equation parabola so uh, that is sketched over here for different uh, c1 for different c1 c1 comes from uh, the initial conditions this is parabola with the uh, the axis uh, on the uh, horizontal axis right uh, this equation we know this equation is valid for theta greater than 0 this equation is valid for theta greater than 0 that is these pairs portraits are valid for the uh, this uh, this half uh, plane this right half of this plane right uh, and for the left half of s plane when theta is less than 0 this this is theta less than 0 we have this equation and now performing similar steps you have this equation which is again the equation of a parabola but now uh, with the this graph right this is valid for theta greater than 0 this is valid for theta less than 0 combining the two we have this phase portrait so what kind of behavior you will act uh, you will expect from this system oscillations it will keep on oscillating about uh, its uh, upright position so we shall continue this discussion in the next lecture.